Hello dear viewers, Assalamu alaikum. I am Engineer Muhammad Rizal Haq. Welcome to my Automation Tools YouTube channel. Today I will show calibration of Rosemount temperature transmitter by using AMS Trex immersion field communicator. Transmitter model number is 248H. So let's start. First, we connect the thermocouple or sensor with the transmitter. We are using the thermocouple of K type. So, I am showing the transmitter that we are using that we want to calibrate this transmitter. So, first we connect the cable between this transmitter and the thermocouple or sensor. Here you see there is the Three to four terminals. One, two, three, four. Two, three, four. One, two, three use for the RTD, and two, three use for the thermocouple. So we have to connect the plus terminal in the two terminal in transmitter, and the minus terminal is connected to the three terminal of this transmitter. And this plus terminal have to be connected in the thermocouple plus time plus terminal. And the minus terminal is have to be connected with minus terminal. You see, our connection is completed with the sensor and the transmitter. Now I connect the Trex communicator with the transmitter. So plus terminal have to be connected in plus terminal, and the minus terminal we have to be connected in minus terminal. Now we connect in the Trex side. We, we have to be we have use power from these tracks so we have to be use the hard plus power terminal this is the tracks communicator here you see the hard plus power terminal we use this so we connect this cable hard plus power terminal after connecting with the transmitter we power on the tracks communicator you see, go to the field communicator, press the field communicator. You see, field communicator is open. Here we have to select transmitter here yeah, heart. We select heart. Then we want to click transmitter. Here was an warning that we want to supply power from the trades. We select this yes. Then we select this here. transmitter. Here is transmitter and positioner. We want to work in positioner. Here yeah, transmitter. So we select the transmitter. And you see voltage provided from heart plus power terminal is detected heart also detected and power is supplied from this text to this transmitter if we then you go to the configure if we want to use supply another supply then we use the only hard terminal you have to use in text communicator we want to configure so go to the configure terminal press configure after opening configure we go to the guided setup and manual setup. This is the manual setup. It has two type of setup. In sensor, we go to the guided setup. Go to the calibration of sensor. Go to configure sensor. And here you see the configure sensor. Press OK. Here the different types of terminal, uh, sensor type, K type, B type, RTD, all you can set up, uh, select from here. Then you go to the setup, advanced setup. Here you can select the unit of this transmitter the degree CC, so select degree and internal value of sensor damping we don't want any damping so press 0 then ok then enable the select transient filter for the sensor press enable then press ok after opening this configuration display the sensor configuration now we want to see what we configure so place the display sensor configuration press ok then we can see the 
configuration of sensor that we have configured. You see, thermocouple type K type, two wire degree and zero damping. Our sensor is configured. So press OK. Then we want to go to the another option. So press exit. Press OK. This will return to control loop. In the guided setup, go to the configure device. Here we go to the analog output. We have to configure analog output. So go to analog output. Then select the degree uh, unit. Then you have to set the lower range of this transmitter. We press it to fifty. Then press OK minus fifty. You can set it as your desire. It's the upper range two fifty. We set this. It is the allowable damping value. Here you also set the damping value. You can press zero and press OK. Here is showing the configure value that we only configured. We select a degree to upper range is two fifty, lower range is minus fifty. Then press the OK. You go to the tagging. Tagging means we will put the name of this transmitter, the tag number of this transmitter. So you can put it here. You see. There are the two types of setup: guided setup and the manual setup. Guided setup means automatic setup. It will after setup, it will be press OK. Then it will automatically send to the transmitter. This is the guided setup. In manual setup, you have to be send it by manual. When in manual setup, you uh, edit any option. Then in the upper right corner side of this text, you see the send button. Go to the return control loop. That means you automatically send it to the transmitter. You see, in the guided setup mode, there is no the send button. That is automatically sent to the transmitter. So it need to no need to send button to send this. Now I will show the manual setup. So you go to the manual setup. Here you see the sensor setup. Here you change any. You see, we have sensor calibrate. You see. K type in manual setup and the guided setup is almost same. No difference between these. It are select the wire, three wire or two wire. It's two wire, so we select two wire. But it changes here. If you change anything, then we have to be sent to the transmitter. But in guided setup, it's no need to send the transmitter. It's automatically sent to the transmitter. It is the unit of this transmitter. Unit of display value. You see, in the upper side is showing a send button. You see, send button is active in right corner, upper right corner of this box. You can see. Here is an another uh, problem is if you change anything in any option, first you have to be sent to transmitter, and then you can go to the another option and you can uh, modify it. Otherwise, you cannot uh, modify the other option. Go set the upper range. Where is the sensor? It is not uh, changeable. It is uh, when you set the thermocouple K type. It is the range of the thermocouple K type. So you cannot change it. We go to the configure option and look and look about configuration. So press the back button and go to the analog output option. Press analog output. In analog output, you have set the different value. We we'll go to the configure. In configure, we have set the upper range and lower range. We we'll go to I show you change it. You see, value cannot be changed because in previous option we change, but we not send. First, we have to be send. You see, press the send button, no changing. So press the send button, press OK. The unit is. The first first changing is sent to the transmitter. Then you can change it. You see, now you can change it. Now this active is because that means when the send buttons in the upper side is active, first you have to send. Otherwise, you cannot go to the other option for editing. You see, first send, then send. The when it is send is okay, then you can change another option. Go to lower range. Here you can change it at your desired range. 
I am using this stuff it is 100 minus 100 to 500 so I edit press ok and go to send button here other another option it is the alarm set value you can send this alarm value as your desire the desired value is in when this desired value is reached then it the transmitter will be show an alarm so it is the so you analog output alarm type it is high alarm or low alarm you can set this alarm then you can choose the value of it you must you see that it is the milliampere ranges but first i try the, the temperature so i the 500 for 400 degree celsius but it's not showing that value was not with the acceptable range that means we cannot put the alarm in the transmit, uh, degree Celsius range. We have to go set is the milliampere range, and it shows the milliampere value is showing the 21.75 milliampere. Must you have to go to the upper value of 21 milliampere. You see, I am trying to set 18, but it's not taking this value. So we have to be set this alarm as the showing this range value then it can be given alarm you see i select the first is the low alarm and you see go to low alarm and edit this 3.6 then it can accept all you see 3.6 milliampere 8 not acceptable because it is up to 3.75 so we see 6 and it active and send it to the transmitter that means when the this lower value is uh, go to the 3.6 milliampere then it is the low alarm i show the analog output alarm type to high alarm and set the range of high alarm so you go to the high alarm and here you have to set the milliampere to 20 one point greater than 21 and less than 21.75 so i push it you see I set 21.2, press OK, Hit take and send. That means when the 21.2 million page comes from this transmitter, it is showing the alarm value. You go to return loop, that means it, the value is sent to the transmitter and go to the return option. Now, I want to see the overview, the configuration of this overview that I already configured. You see in the overview in text communicator show the analog value and the digital uh, uh, the, the we need what the process value is showing the right side is analog output and left side is showing the process output you see here is the temperature is 25.44 degree celsius and milliampere is showing the 7.34 ampere and degree celsius is 25 degree celsius i see i am pressing the and try to hot this sensor thermocouple and the temperature is increasing you see it is going to 31 point degree celsius so dear friend i show you step by step how to configure this temperature rosemont temperature transmitter so if you like my video please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon also like comments and share thanks for watching